welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I have a super special video for you guys today. We are going to talk all things protein bars and I'm telling you all things protein bars. I spent weeks, hours and hours doing the research for this video, going to my local health food store to see what types of protein bars are out there on the market. Some of these bars are going to be very familiar to you and some of these are going to be new finds, maybe things that you haven't seen in your local grocery store and some that are kind of customized to your natural food or your health food store. But I wanted to get a variety of protein bars for this video. I took a look at several things when putting this together. Number one, I looked at the ingredients in the protein bars. I also looked at the smart points in the protein bar and I also looked at the price because I wanted to share a good comparison of these different protein bars with you. So what this video is going to basically entail is I'm going to share with you dozens of protein bar options. We're going to talk about good options for protein bars, good meaning ingredient wise and smart point wise. And we're also going to talk about those maybe not so good options for protein bars based on ingredients and smart points. And then at the end, we are going to do a taste test of some protein bars, about five that I've never tried before that fall in the good option category, whether that be ingredients, smart points, or both. So if you are here for it, if you have a little bit of time on your hands and you want to know all things protein bars, stay tuned. I'm a run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep as at night. I'm on this. It's boring. So let's jump in to today's video. We have a lot a lot of protein bars to go over. So I'm going to start with number one, and that is the no cow bar. So this is a protein bar that is dairy free. Now this bar falls as a, ah, uh, it's okay bar. There are four ingredients present in the no cow bar that I generally don't like to see. Those four ingredients are peanut oil, natural flavors, erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol, and palm oil. None of those ingredients are super desirable and really in any food. So I would give the no cow bar on a scale of one to 10. I'll do my best to rate all of the bars, 10 being absolutely phenomenal and one being absolutely avoidable. I would put the no cow bar kind of right in the middle at five on the scale. The smart points of the no cow bar are four to five. If you're looking for a dairy free bar, this is an option for you, but there are a lot of other better dairy-free options out there. Number two are the Bobo's bars. And I have seen these at my local coffee shops. I've honestly never had them. Now these bars are pretty good. There are two ingredients in the Bobo's bars that aren't my favorite. And those two ingredients are canola oil, which isn't expeller pressed and natural flavor. Now these bars are seven smart points. So they are a little bit higher in the smart point range, but I would rate these on the one to 10 scale at about a seven because the ingredients are pretty good with the exception of those two, but they are a little bit high in smart points. Next are the primal kitchen bars. You guys know I love my primal kitchen mayo, my primal kitchen dressings. It's such a fantastic brand and they outdid themselves on their protein bar just like a lot of their other products. So the primal kitchen protein bars, they only have one ingredient that I don't love and that is natural flavor. Now natural flavor is basically artificial flavor. So if they just use like an extract or real fruit, that would be even better. But overall the primal kitchen bars rate about an eight out of 10 on the scale. Now these bars are going to cost you five to seven smart points. So not too bad, just depending on the flavor, whether they are five or seven points. Next are the quest bars. And I know that these are extremely popular in the WW community, but I hate to break it to you. These definitely don't fall on the high end of the scale. So the quest bars, the reason that they're not some of my top bars are their ingredients. They contain ingredients such as erythritol, which is that sugar alcohol natural flavor, but they also contain sucralose, which is a chemically processed sugar. So they have a sugar alcohol and sucralose. So they're kind of double dipping in the sugar alcohols. I know that heavy amounts of erythritol do cause a lot of stomach and digestion issues for people and Quest's erythritol count is pretty high. So I would rate Quest probably a four out of 10 as far as 
good ingredients go on the scale. Now they are pretty low in smart points. They range for about four to five smart points. So you're going to find a common trend in the protein bar world. If they contain a lot of artificial sweeteners, sugar alcohols, or just not good for you sugar alternatives, they're going to generally be lower in smart points because smart point values are based on sugar. That's one of the components that go into making a smart point value. So bars that use real natural whole sugar are gonna always cost you a little more in smart points. So just keep that in mind as we go through the bars. Next up is the Rise Bar. I had never seen this before. I found this at my local health food store and I was pretty excited about this bar. It has pretty darn good ingredients. So the Rise Bar gets a nine out of 10 on the scale and I'll tell you why. There are three, only three ingredients in these bars and those three ingredients are almonds, honey and whey protein. Now, of course, the almonds and honey are gonna vary based on the flavor, but three whole food ingredients and the protein powder is pretty good ingredients as well. So I'm gonna give the Rise a nine out of 10. Now, the Rise bars are going to cost you about eight to nine smart points. Why, you ask? Because they use honey and we are penalized for sugar and there is a lot of sugar in honey. So these are going to cost you more in smart points, but as far as ingredients go, these are top notch. Next are the dang bars. Dang, those bars. I know a lot of you have heard of those. I've seen these kind of in the WW community. These bars have a couple of ingredients that I don't love. And those ingredients are natural flavors, AKA artificial flavors and sunflower oil. And it looks like they actually have natural flavors twice. So I would imagine that there are two different types of natural slash artificial flavors in these bars. Now, also these bars are pretty point heavy. They're gonna cost you about seven smart points for a bar. So I'm gonna put these pretty far down on the scale at about a three out of 10 based on the ingredients and the smart point value. Again, there are so many lower point, better ingredient options out there. I probably wouldn't be picking up a lot of these dang bars. Next is a bar that a lot of us have eaten throughout the years. We see these all over the world and these are the Cliff Bars, your basic Cliff Bar. Now these for me are an absolute no-go for two reasons. One of them is the ingredients and the second one is the smart points. So the Cliff Bar contains two ingredients that I absolutely do not love. Number one is Cliff Bars have soybeans in them. Soybeans are always GMO if they don't state that they're organic and non-GMO. The Cliff Bar does not state either of those things, so they're gonna be heavily sprayed with glyphosate or Roundup, and they're also going to be GMO. So I would stay away from that. And secondly, it does have rice syrup in there. Now you're gonna find rice syrup in a lot of protein bars. It's just a fancy name for sugar. So it basically has the same effect on your body as sugar. So brown rice syrup isn't, or rice syrup isn't absolutely ideal. Now in my opinion, it's better than fake sugar and sugar alcohols, but it's still going to spike your blood sugar and have the same effect as regular sugar would be. And the worst part about the Cliff Bars, besides the ingredients, is they're going to cost you 10 smart points. No way. So these are one out of 10 on the scale. Next are the picky bars. And I've never seen these either. And I found these at, again, my local health food store. And I thought these looked really intriguing. I'm thinking picky bar, picky eater, picky ingredients. So when I flipped it over, there were a couple of ingredients I didn't love. And that was safflower oil, which was not expeller pressed. And again, brown rice syrup. You're gonna see that a lot in these bars, unfortunately. Now, again, I'd rather have brown rice syrup than sugar alcohols, but the safflower oil not being expeller pressed is gonna be GMO. So I would avoid that type of oil really at all, and especially in a protein bar. They could simply use like an avocado oil or a coconut oil, and it's just a much cleaner, healthier oil. Their smart points are six to eight, so they're a little bit point heavy as well for a couple of questionable ingredients. So I would put these about a six out of 10 on the scale. Next up is another popular bar. And so many of you reached out and asked me if this bar was clean and that is the RX bar. So when we think about the RX bar, as a lot of you did, myself included, we think of this being a pretty clean bar. Unfortunately, the RX bar has natural flavors, AKA artificial flavors. So it's not an actual clean protein bar. However, it's cleaner than a lot of the other bars out there. But the RX bar is going to cost you seven smart points. So I don't know if the point value is necessarily worth it. However, if you're going to, in a pinch, grab a protein bar, the RX bar is a pretty decent option, rating about a seven out of 10 on the scale. Next up 
is a bar made from a very popular protein powder brand called Orgain Organics. They make a protein bar as well. Now, what this bar has going for it is a pretty good smart point value. What this bar doesn't have going for it is ingredients. In the Orgain Organic Protein Bars, you are going to find tapioca syrup, which is really just sugar, erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol, so they're double dipping in sugar and natural, aka artificial flavors. So it has three ingredients that I don't absolutely love. What I do love though is the smart point value ranges from four to five. So pretty good on the scale for smart points, just a few, three, pretty not so great ingredient. So I would rate this a five out of 10. The next bar I've actually shared several times on my channel because I've purchased it off of the Protein Wise website. And this is the Oat Mega Bar. These bars are really, really good. I've had several of the flavors and I really do like them. But the ingredients, my friends, oh, I was a little bit disappointed. In the Oat Mega Bar, you're going to find ingredients such as brown rice syrup, again, sunflower oil, which is not expeller pressed, and again, natural flavors. So three ingredients that I don't love. Dang it, Oat Mega Bar. Now, are these ingredients absolutely god awful? No, but they're definitely not ingredients I would naturally reach for. And the Omega Bars are generally about six smart points a piece, so I put these kind of right in the middle at five out of 10. Let's revisit the Cliff Bar for a minute and talk about the Cliff Z Bar, which is the Cliff Bar that is designed for kids. So it is going to be a little bit more point friendly because it's a kid size bar, but again, it has those terrible Cliff Bar ingredients. You're going to find cane sugar, so actual worst of the worst sugar, and natural flavors in the kids' bars. I don't know about you, I don't have kids, but I imagine if I did, I wouldn't wanna pump any more sugar into them than absolutely necessary. So unfortunately, the ingredients make the Cliff, Kid, or Z Bar a no-go for me. Now the points are definitely better than the 10 of the traditional Cliff Bar. These bars are half the points, so they're about five smart points, but because of the ingredients, ingredients, I would put these as about a five out of 10 on the scale. Next up is the Luna bar. This is another question a lot of you have asked, is this a good choice for a clean protein bar? You would think, but not so fast, my friends. So the Luna bar has some ingredients I don't love. Brown rice syrup. It also has palm oil, which is not expeller pressed, cane sugar, and natural artificial flavor. So four ingredients. I would probably stay away from the Luna Bar. They don't taste the best. Now they're good in my opinion. To me, they don't taste the best, but the ingredients are just not ingredients that I think that you should put into your body. And the smart points aren't so hot either. A Luna Bar is going to cost you six to seven smart points. They're pretty small and with four, not so great ingredients, I would give these a three out of 10. Let's take another quick visit back down the Cliff Bar Road. Cliff Bar also makes a Cliff Protein Bar, which is different than the traditional Cliff Bar and the Cliff Z Bar for kids. Now these protein bars claim to be great ingredients and good for you, but when you flip over these bars, they contain ingredients like tapioca syrup, which is sugar, cane syrup, palm oil and natural flavors. So again, double dipping the sugar, which makes them sweet and delicious, I can only imagine. But these are also 10 smart points like their traditional Cliff Bar. So I would rate these probably a one out of 10 on the scale because of the ingredients and the smart point value. I would say overall for me, I would probably just stay away from the Cliff Bars in general. Next is a bar called the New Go Organic Bar. I found this at my local health food store. The packaging looked super appealing. When I flipped it over, I took a look at the ingredients and this bar contains, again, tapioca syrup, natural flavors, and cane sugar. So kind of a double dip in the sugars again, pretty high in sugar and sugars I don't love to see. And then they swoop in some natural slash artificial flavors as well. And these bars are a little bit point heavy. These bars range from seven to eight smart points. I have notes, by the way, seven to eight smart points a piece. So I'm gonna give these a two out of 10 for the ingredients and the fact that they are pretty point heavy. Next is the Pro Bar. Now this is another bar I'd never seen before that I found at my local health food store. And again, it claims to be a good protein bar, actually more like a meal replacement bar. But when I flipped the bar over, I found ingredients that I don't love and a lot of them. I found tapioca syrup, agave syrup, which really spikes your blood sugar, cane sugar, palm oil, and natural flavor. So we have three, yes, three sugars in one protein bar. No way. And these protein bars range from seven to 10 smart points. And you wanna know why? It's all the sugar that they put into these bars. So I would 
absolutely stay away from this. This would be a one out of 10 for me. Next is the Epic Bar. So we've all seen the Epic kind of meat bars, kind of like a beef jerky in the form of a bar. Those are delicious and have great ingredients, but Epic also makes a protein bar. And I was so excited to see this. And these bars are amazing. They have excellent ingredients. Literally, you guys, perfect, perfect ingredients and they range from about four to six smart points depending on the bar so not only do they have stellar ingredients they have amazing smart point values and we're going to taste test one of these new epic protein bars at the end of this video so i'm going to give epic a 10 out of 10 and stay tuned for the taste test there's also another new go bar out on the market that's called the new go slim so this is a smaller thinner bar kind of like the think thin which we'll get to that a little bit later but this bar has less smart points but unfortunately it still had a couple of questionable ingredients so in the new go slim i found cane sugar and natural or artificial flavors these are only five smart points though because they're a thinner smaller version but for five points i don't love that it has sugar and natural flavors so i would give these a five out of ten now the next bar is going to be a little bit controversial so it depends on how you look at dried frozen fruit on your WW journey. I do not count dried or frozen fruit because I don't overeat that. I stick to one serving, whether I'm having fresh, dried, or frozen. So the next bar is called the That's It Bar. And literally, that's it, you guys. It's made of fruit and it's pressed to form a bar. So for me, I would probably count these as zero smart points. I would make sure that I drink a lot of water with these bars to kind of rehydrate the pressed fruit, but there's no added sugar. So again, I would probably count these as zero, but if you are following WW, these would be five smart points a piece, but you guys, perfect ingredients, 10 out of 10. It's literally just fruit. So however you choose to count dried, blended fruit, you would count these bars either as zero points or five points, but 10 out of 10. Next up are my beloved built bars. I know you guys were waiting for this one to come up. So with the built bar, you guys know I love these my beloved built bars. I know you guys have been waiting for the built bar. So I try to follow a clean approach to WW. As you know, try to follow about the 90, 10 rule, 90% clean whole food, 10% foods that I love built bar falls into the foods that I love category. But I wanted to share that with you today because as far as points go, Built Bar, number one, lowest smart point you're gonna find of a protein bar, and in my opinion, really the best tasting protein bar that I've had, but we have some questionable ingredients in the Built Bar. We have natural flavors, erythritol, and we also have malitol. Now, malitol and erythritol are sugar alcohols that I don't love. I do not like sugar alcohols. The erythritol, luckily, is a very, very small amount, less than what's in a traditional sugar packet. So I'm not as opposed to that, but again, I'm not 100% sold on the ingredients. I'm 100% sold on the taste and the smart points. The points are three to four for a bar, and they literally taste like a candy bar. So I keep Built Bar in my rotation, but if I were to rate Built Bar based on these ingredients, it would fall in the middle at about a five out of 10. But 10%, the foods that I love, Built Bar falls right into that 10%. Another very popular bar in the WW community and one that you can find at Costco is the Pure Protein Bar. Now, I used to eat these all the time like all the time before i discovered built bar this was kind of my go-to bar because these are about only five smart points so they're really really low in smart points but the ingredients are why these are really low so these bars have malitol palm oil natural flavor and sucralose so lots of not good ingredients i don't love that they're sucralose i really try to stay away from that so these again are five points. So they're good on the smart points, but not so good on the ingredients. So I would put these at about a four out of 10. Also at Costco, you can find the Kirkland or the Costco brand of protein bar. This is another thing I see a lot in the WW community because of the smart points. There are some ingredients in these Costco bars I don't love. And those ingredients are erythritol and natural flavor. Now these have a little higher dose of erythritol, which makes me love them a little bit less but these bars also are pretty good in smart points. They're about five smart points a piece. So I would give these about a five out of 10. Also for me, I don't care for the taste and texture. These are a lot texture wise, like the Quest bar. So if you don't like the texture of the Quest bars, you probably won't like the texture of the Costco or the Kirkland brand protein bars. Also at Costco, you can find the Robert Irvine Fit Crunch bars. I've actually never had these. Now I have been told that these are really, really delicious. But you guys, the ingredients, I was super disappointed when I flipped over and looked at the ingredients. So the ingredients in these bars are palm oil, sugar, 
malitol, sorbitol, and corn syrup. So they have so many sugar and sugar alternatives. It's crazy to me. That's probably, again, why they taste so good. They are loaded with sugar alcohols, loaded with fake sugar. I absolutely would stay away from these. For me, these are a one out of 10, just based on all of the fake sugar and sugar alcohols that are in these. And they're about six smart points a piece. Next is the zone bar. Do you guys remember the zone diet? Is that still a thing? Like, do people still follow the zone diet? I hope that if they do, they're not eating these bars because the zone bars have a lot of bad ingredients. Malitol, palm oil, natural flavors, sugar, and sucralose. And in fact, they have natural flavors twice. So I don't know what two they're using. Natural is artificial to me, but they have a laundry list of ingredients. So one out of 10 on the scale and a zone bar is going to cost you about six smart points. So in my opinion, not worth it. What about the OG, the power bar, the good old power bar? Nope. The power bar contains cane juice, which is basically cane sugar, maltodextrin, and natural flavor. So it has real sugar, fake sugar, and artificial flavors. And again, I can't get past the texture of the power bar. It's very reminiscent of the Costco and the Quest bar. It's that same kind of texture. The power bars are about five to seven smart points. So not terrible on the smart points, but terrible on the ingredients, making them about a four out of 10. Now I don't have an Aldi where I live, but I know that a lot of you have Aldi's and Aldi has a health food brand or so they deem a health food brand called Fit and Active. Everything from yogurt, cheese, all the things. Well, they even have a Fit and Active protein bar. So I dug into that protein bar a little bit. Oh my goodness, you guys, how incredibly disappointing in ingredients that a health brand of a grocery store has. So let's go over these ingredients in these Fit and Active protein bars. So these have malitol, palm oil, natural flavor, sucralose, and dun dun dun, carrageenan. No way know how carrageenan is an inflammatory and these are loaded with fake sugar one out of ten and they're five to seven smart points so not interested another kind of og bar that i didn't even know was still around are the gatorade bars do you guys have you, do you guys eat those do you remember those the gatorade brand of bars so these are shown all over commercials are used to be with athletes and great recovery after a workout you guys, the ingredients in these bars are some of the worst. In the Gatorade bars, there is cane, cane syrup, palm oil, vegetable oil, corn syrup, sugar, natural and artificial flavors, vegetable oil, and caramel coloring. And, and, and. Just a huge list. Absolutely the worst ingredients of all the bars that I looked at. Zero out of 10, if I could give them a zero out of 10. And the smart points are not good. They're eight to 10 smart points. Eight to 10 smart points for oil and sugar. Another bar I see all over the WW community are the Fiber One protein bars. I heard that these are delicious. I've not tried these. They just don't fall in line with what I eat, but I've heard that these are absolutely delicious. But you guys, a cautionary measure, the ingredients. The ingredients in these Fiber One protein bars are going to be ingredients such as sugar, palm oil, maltitol, soybean oil, fructose, which is sugar, canola oil, dextrose, natural and artificial flavor. So could the list again get any longer? Between the Fiber One protein bars and Gatorade, we've got about 99 ingredients and 99 ingredients that aren't good for you. So I would stay away from these. I know that they taste delicious, but honestly, if you're going to go with a delicious tasting bar, you're honestly better off with a built bar over the Fiber One protein bars. And these bars range from about five to six smart points. So they have a lot worse ingredients and they're higher in smart points than the built bar. And you guys say they taste delicious, but again, if you're going for taste and smart points, and ingredients, the Bilt Bar is honestly a better option. Your beloved Premier Protein, the protein shake that so many of you love on WW. Did you know that Premier also has a protein bar? Now you guys know that I don't drink the Premier Protein Shakes because I don't like the ingredient list. It's a huge list of ingredients. The protein bars, in my opinion, have that huge list of ingredients. And those ingredients are things such as sugar, palm oil, natural and artificial flavors, and sucralose. So they've got real sugar, fake sugar, artificial flavors, really similar to what's in the Premier Protein. So again, I don't know that I would reach for these bars, and they are really high in points, six to eight smart points. So I would give these about a two out of 10 as far as ingredients and smart points go. Next up is one of my favorite granola brands, and this is the Purely Elizabeth. I'm gonna be taste testing this bar at the end as well, but she also makes a granola bar or a bar. Now these bars 
bars are pretty good. In the Purely Elizabeth bars, you're going to find really good ingredients. They are made with coconut oil and they're also made with coconut sugar. So stellar, stellar ingredients, best in class. As far as ingredients, 10 out of 10. Now these bars are pretty darn good in smart points as well. They range between five and eight smart points, depending on if you pick the granola based bar or the actual protein based bar. I'm going to taste test the granola bar, but you guys, ingredients, these are absolutely a 10 out of 10. I mentioned earlier the Think Thin bar, so let's dig into the Think Thin a little bit. And let's first talk about the ingredients because Think Thin is another popular protein bar that I see in the weight loss or WW community. Now the ingredients in the Think Thin that I don't love are ingredients such as maltitol, which is terrible for your stomach, canola oil, and they also use natural flavor. So again, whenever an oil that isn't expeller press or isn't an avocado or extra virgin olive oil you want to stay away from that they're GMO they're made with GMO crop just not good for you heavily heavily sprayed with pesticides so the think thin bars in my opinion are out the only thing they have going for them is their smart point value and they are about six smart points a piece so not bad but again you can have other bars for half of that smart points with a little bit better ingredients so I give the think thin a five out of ten next up are the go raw bars I've actually talked about the go raw brand a few times and most of the go raw products I haven't loved so I decided to pick up one of these bars to taste test with you guys so these are the go raw protein bars now these bars pretty darn good the only ingredient I don't love is natural flavors but they don't have any weird sugars or sugar alcohols so overall these are actually a good choice of a protein bar the smart points on these are going to be two to four smart points so they're very very low in fact one of the lowest in smart point value of the protein bars that I've shared with you I just don't know about the taste so we're going to taste test this one at the end of the video as well but 10 out of 10 for ingredients and smart points next is the kind bar this is another question that I've gotten is this a clean bar I have also noticed when I watch Flav City Bobby Parrish on Flav City on YouTube check him out he's amazing that he actually gets that question too what about kind bars kind bars are not a clean bar and they're not a bobby approved bar if you watch Flav city and the reason for that is going to be the ingredients in a kind bar they're not just your nuts and seeds my friends you're going to find ingredients in a kind bar such as palm oil sugar and natural flavor so definitely not in my opinion, a great option for a go-to protein bar. You have a lot better options that we'll talk about here in a little bit of these nut-based bars. And Kind Bar cost seven to eight smart points. So they're very, very high in smart points. So based on ingredients and smart points, I'd put these about a three out of 10. Next is the Go Macro Bar. Now these bars, I have had these. These are really, really good. And the only ingredient in these that I don't love is brown rice syrup. Now again, it could be worse. It could be sugar alcohols or cane sugar, but I'm still not a huge fan of brown rice syrup because it's still sugar but the other thing about the go macro bars that I don't love are the smart points they're actually eight to ten smart points but I would give them a nine out of ten on the scale based on the fact that they only have one questionable ingredient and they actually taste really really good if you're willing to spend the smart points. next is the Lara bar now let me just tell you the Lara bar is the cleanest of the cleaner one of the cleanest bars that you can buy hands down it's literally like dates fruit and nuts that's it. But ingredients, 10 out of 10. Smart points, they are a little bit high. They range from eight to nine smart points. So they are a little bit high in points, but if you want just a high quality, good option for a bar, hands down, you should always go for the Lara bar, 10 out of 10. What about Bob's Red Mill? Bob's Red Mill, flowers and oats and all the things that Bob puts out on the market. Well, Bob also has a protein bar. Now his protein bar is okay. The ingredients I don't love are going to be simple, couple of ingredients, tapioca syrup and natural flavors. Those are the two ingredients in the Bob's Red Mill bar that I don't absolutely love. Now I've also tried this bar. It's really, really delicious but it is seven smart points. So it doesn't have the best ingredients, a couple questionable ones, and it also is seven points. So because of that, I would put this kind of right in the middle at about a five out of 10. Next up are the Garden of Life bars. Now this is another company that puts out a protein powder called the Garden of Life Organic Protein Powder. Now these bars, really a great option. I'm going to be taste testing this at the end as well. So in the Garden of Life bar, the only ingredient that is not the best is that there's cane sugar, but that's actually in the chocolate, which is pretty standard in most bars coated in chocolate. All of the other ingredients are absolutely amazing. Now the smart points value for these bars are going to be five, which is also 
freaking amazing. So not only do you have best in class ingredients, you will have a five smart point bar. Highly, highly recommend this bar if you can get this in your area. 10 out of 10. I am going to taste test this. So let's see if the taste matches up to the ingredients in the smart points. Now this is a bar that I found at my local health food store. I've never seen this before. This is the Betty Lou's fruit bar. So this reminds me of a fig Newton. And I was excited to see this because I love fig Newtons. I do not love the ingredients in fig Newtons. So I was hoping that Miss Betty Lou would give us a little bit better ingredients. But in these bars, I found ingredients such as natural flavors, brown rice syrup, and safflower oil that was not expeller press. So no go, Betty Lou. Not a bar that I would reach for. And they are about eight smart points for the traditional size bar. If you get the bigger bar, they have like a jumbo one. It's about 15 points. So I'm going to go two out of 10 based on the ingredients and the smart points. Sorry, Betty. Another bar I found next to Betty Lou were the Zing bars. And I had never seen these before. They had quite a few flavors of these at my natural food store. So I would imagine this you're going to find at a health food store. So the Zing bar, the ingredients in there that I don't love are going to be sugar, tapioca syrup, and brown rice syrup. So did you hear that? Three. Three different sugars in the Zing bar. <sighs> Why so much sugar? And that makes the Zing bar really point heavy as well. They're going to cost you seven to eight smart points. No way. And you know what? If they just took out half of that sugar, it would really reduce the smart points and make it a much better option for a bar. So I'm going to give the Zing bar three out of 10 based on sugar and smart points. Now this is another bar that I was pretty excited to find. It kind of goes hand in hand with the Lara bar. And I found this at my health food store. This is called the raw ma. So R A W like raw and then ma bar. This bar, perfect. Absolutely perfect ingredients. Very, very reminiscent to the Lara bar as far as ingredients goes, just your nuts, your seeds, your fruit. But unfortunately, because of these ingredients, similar to the Lara bar, these are going to be seven to eight smart points. But if you are looking for a good for you, real food, whole food, as good as it can get 10 out of 10 bar, the Lara bar or the Rama, hands down. You just got to suck up the seven to eight smart points. Next is the foodie bar, foodie with one O. And this is another bar that I'd never seen before until I found it at my health food store. But foodie friends, you guys have some ingredients I don't like. And in your bar, I found brown rice syrup, palm oil, and peanut oil. So we are double dipping in the oils. So this is going to elevate the smart points. Plus neither of these oils are healthy fats. Neither of them are expeller press and are oils that you should try to avoid. So the foodie bars range six to eight smart points. So between the double dose of oils, the natural flavors, the smart points, three out of 10. Next up is the Think Protein Bar. So we talked about the Think Thin Bar. So now let's talk about the Think Protein Based Bar. Just like the Thin Bar, don't love the ingredients. In the Think Protein Bar, you're gonna find maltitol, which upsets your stomach, natural flavors, and sunflower oil that is not expeller press. So just like the Think Thin Bar, I would steer clear of the Think Protein Bars. And the smart points on these bars are six smart points. So I'm gonna go two out of 10 based on smart point value in those ingredients. Next up is the Core Bar. When I saw this bar, I thought, hmm, this one's gonna be a good one. Nope. The core bar has xylitol, which is a terrible fake sugar, regular sugar, and caramel coloring. Why? Why put caramel coloring in there? The only reason anybody puts caramel color in anything is to give it a brown color. Why? Why just not give us it in its raw color form, my friends? So this bar is absolutely out, and it's 10 smart points. You heard me right, 10. One out of 10. I also spotted a meal replacement bar. So this was a big gigantic bar called the Pro Live Bar. Now I knew this being a meal replacement bar that it was going to be really high in smart points, but what I didn't know was some of the ingredients. So in the Pro Live Bar, it has brown rice syrup. So it only has one ingredient I don't love. I love it better than cane sugar or sugar alcohol, but you guys, the smart points, wait for it. 15 to 17 smart points per bar. Now, I don't think unless you are in desperate measures that you should be eating 15 to 17 points in a bar because you can have a lot of food and healthy real food for 15 to 17 smart points. So I'm going to go one out of 10, even though it only has one questionable ingredient, those smart points. Oh. Next up is the G2G bar. And this is another one I've never heard of. I found this at my local health food store. And this bar ingredient wise has brown rice syrup again, but also has sugar. So it's double dipping again in the sweeteners, which makes them six to eight smart points a piece. That's a lot 
for a little bar. So this is probably not a bar that I would purchase. And based on the double dip of sugar and the smart points, I would give it a four out of 10. And lastly, I ventured over to my refrigerated section and found two bars that I wanted to share with you. The first bar I'm going to taste test at the end. I'm really excited. This is the, I think it's pronounced Ohi or Ohi. It's O-H-I bar. You guys, the ingredients. Hallelujah! Fabulous in this bar. You find this in the refrigerated section of your natural grocery store. Literally perfect ingredients. I want to taste test it because I want to know if the taste lives up to the ingredients. These bars are six to eight smart points. So they're a little bit high in points. And because of that, without tasting it, I would give it about a nine out of 10 because the ingredients are amazing. So stay tuned in just a minute for that taste test. And the last bar that I want to talk about is another bar that I see all over the health weight loss WW community, and that is the Perfect Bar. This is also found in the refrigerated section. So the Perfect Bar is not 100% perfect. The Perfect Bar contains sunflower oil, which is not expeller pressed. So an oil that I try to avoid. Other than that, the ingredients are decent, but where it really like gut punches you is in the smart points. The Perfect Bar is going to cost you 11. Yes, 11 smart points. So Based on the smart points and the fact that it has that oil in there, I would rate this probably a six out of 10. I know that Perfect Bar also makes a kid size bar, but if it still has the sunflower oil that's not expeller pressed, it still wouldn't be top notch or a bar that I would reach for, even though the smart points would be exponentially better. So that is it, my friends. Whew. That was a list of protein bars. We went through a lot and I have a feeling again, this is gonna be a very long video, but don't leave yet. I'm going to taste test five of the protein bars that I shared with you right here on camera. We're going to talk about the taste, the texture, the points, and whether I would continue to recommend these bars. Now these bars fell on the, yes, these are good bars, good ingredients, good smart point list. So I'm going to taste test them. So let's jump into that. So we're going to start our taste test off with the bar that I raved about, the Ohi Ohi bar. We're going to try this. So this is the super green bar. Again, this is the one that's found in the refrigerated section. Um, it has 270 calories, really, really good ingredients, plant-based, gluten-free, grain-free, non-GMO. Let's try it. So I'm a little nervous. I'm wondering if it's green. It is. It's green. Well, it's not green, but it has like a little bit of a green tinge to it. Can you guys see that? Looks really good though. Full of good stuff. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Mmm. This, oh, this is really delicious. I really taste the nuts, the sweetness from the dates. Mm, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Yum. Next up is the Garden of Life bar. The other one I kind of raved about, only five smart point. This is the S'mores Garden of Life bar. It's organic, non-GMO, has 14 grams of fiber, one gram of sugar and it's plant-based. So let's try this. Let me show you what it looks like. Ooh, that's an awesome, look at that. So there's the bar itself. So it has a chocolate base and kind of that like nutty caramel coating. Okay, so taste-wise, it's a little gritty, a little sandy, the actual like bar part, not the chocolate part, but the bar part. It's a little grainy, a little sandy. I was trying to figure out what I could compare it to as far as like the, uh, another bar, but I can't really think of a good comparison. I mean, it's good. It doesn't really have a lot of aftertaste, a very, very small amount, but I mean, overall for the point value and the ingredients, I, it's, it's pretty good. I would probably repurchase this, but I really love that Ohi bar, but I would probably repurchase this as well. So next up is the Go Raw bar. So I told you guys I am not a huge fan of all the Go Raw products that I've tried in the past, but this one is the pumpkin seed bar. It just has five ingredients. I love that. Organic, non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, nut-free, soy-free. So what is in this bar is sprouted pumpkin seeds, sprouted flax seeds, dates, raw agave, nectar, and salt. So that's it. So hopefully this bar is better than some of the Go Raw products that I've tried in the past because like I said, I haven't loved them. So here's what the bar looks like. Look at that, it's tons and tons of nuts and seeds. Here for that, 
so let's try this this one is huge this one's probably more points i had my husband pick these up for me since i can't really leave and i think he may have gotten the bigger one but regardless we're we're looking at the ingredients okay Way to go, go raw. This is actually pretty darn good. Sweetness comes from the dates. The nuts give it a nice crunch. The only thing I don't love about it is the texture. Not the texture, but it leaves kind of a slimy film on your tongue. And I don't know what that comes from. I mean, it's not terrible, but that would be my one criticism. But this is actually really good. So thumbs up on this one, go raw. Next up is the Epic Bar. So this is the Epic Bar Rise and Grind. And this one literally just has chicken, egg yolks, and apple. And it has 13 grams of protein. So you can see it's a very like a meat bar. So I'm excited to try this one. I really like the Epic other meat bars that I've tried. So here it goes. Mm, it smells really good. I don't love it it's very dry it's very salty yeah it reminds me of beef jerky a lot but it's so dry and salty i just don't love it i think i like some of the other epic products that i've had i don't love this and i know that these are kind of expensive they're great in ingredients great in smart points but just not i don't love it Lastly, I'm going to try the Purely Elizabeth Chocolate and Sea Salt Granola Bar. So these sound really, really good. Three grams of protein, six grams of sugar, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan. So let's pop one of these out and give this one a try. My husband said that he had to buy a box of four, that they didn't sell them individually. So again, I think he may have gotten the wrong bar. I think I was more apt for the protein bar, but that's okay. We're going to try this. Um, this is what it looks like looks really really good actually so let's try it and see if we like it i do like their granola a lot and they generally have really really good ingredients so that's what it looks like so it's a very granola-y chocolatey i mean it looks really really good oh my goodness delicious mm, so good really great chocolate flavor little hint of salt cinnamon um yes please if you're looking for a granola bar absolutely absolutely pick up the purely elizabeth this is amazing so that is it my friends for this protein bar review video holy moly did we have a lot of protein bars i'm glad that i was able to taste test some of the best in class ones for you here at the end and thank you for sticking all the way through if you have made it to the end of this video because I already know it's going to be a long one. Leave the heart emoji in the color of WW plan that you're doing. So whether that be blue, green, purple, leave that color heart emoji down in the description box. Let me know that you're my trooper who made it through all the way to the end. I hope that I shared some really great information for you. I am going to list out all of the protein bars that I reviewed in the description box below and kind of categorize them in best in class, good, you know, so you don't have to go back and take notes throughout the entire video. I'm going to do that work for you down in the description box below. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, subscribe, hit the little subscribe button and that bell. So you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. I do a lot of these types of videos, recipe, WW galore. So make sure your bell notification is turned on. Also, if you're new, give this video a big thumbs up, or if you're not new, Give this video a thumbs up if you love these protein bar reviews or these ingredients, what to eat, what not to eat types of videos. It really helps out my channel and it kind of tells me what type of content you guys want to see in the future. Make sure you check out the description box below. Also, my website is down there in my Facebook group, so definitely give it a look down below. Thank you guys again for sticking out for this super long video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!